big moment overall energy for this reading <laughs> welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a special reading because jupiter is super close to earth right now jupiter will not be this close to earth again in our lifetimes jupiter is the planet of miracles and blessings and expansion and then we have six planets retrograde <laughs> right now so i'm just curious what messages these planets okay just to start off your reading let's we're getting into your energy here oh that is fiery that is fiery getting into your energy here we have the eight of wands and the king of wands here so yeah so some kind of opportunity or action inspiration creation messages downloads from above signs and synchronicities and something and one of these opportunities is like this big huge opportunity and the king of wands is courageous and confident and believes that he deserves his dreams and he goes after them with that confidence and self-assuredness and passion so that's super fiery let's get some messages from jupiter mainly but also from saturn pluto neptune mercury and uranus also all retrograde right now so let's see what messages what's the message what oh okay okay oh the devil and ace of cups healing i'm hearing a big message about healing Healing from toxic patterns, toxic behaviors, codependencies, attachment, negative thoughts. So definitely the need for some kind of self-care, filling your own cup, self-love healing process. Like a new emotional journey and just really just a like purification and cleansing of, of your yourself and your soul and healing. Healing from something toxic something some inner demons maybe some outer demons you need to be cleansed that was all just getting into your energy now we're gonna go into your reading so let's do it all right get six cards just like that big moment overall energy for this reading the moon oh a lot of emotional intensity you may be a little bit emotionally overwhelmed you may be dealing with some fear like you don't want to come out of your safe space there you don't want to come out of your comfort zone there and kind of and face the dogs and face this path to, to god knows where and face the the moon which only partially illuminates your path and you just kind of want to stay in your pond where you're safe because we saw the eight of wands though this could also be about messages coming from your subconscious maybe these downloads and signs and synchronicities are going to come from your subconscious so you'll see them in your waking life or in your dream life maybe you'll be getting some downloads and some messages so overall energy is about you know growth through pain growing pain we did see the ace of cups and the devil there so yeah growing pains from some devilish experiences that left you thirsty for some healing waters so your energy right now oh it's back it's back the eight of wands your energy is fast moving it's kind of intense but I'm also feeling like these could also just be like like thoughts and feelings and just like your energy being scattered and maybe feeling overwhelmed. It's feeling a bit intense, overwhelmed, something you're very passionate about. You could be feeling stressed and overwhelmed with too many, too many decisions, too many things to do, too many opportunities, too many choices to make, things like that. So that is your energy, but it is quite fiery the situation what's the situation nine of wands look how we went from the eight of wands so you're the eight of wands and the situation is the nine of wands so the situation is all about perseverance it is all about hanging hanging in there because you've almost made it this is interesting i feel like this is you so you're kind of 
partway through some kind of process. The situation is that there, there, there you've accumulated another one and you've only got one to go to make it. You've only got one wand to go to reach your goal. It has been a difficult path. Yeah, it has been difficult. It has been overwhelming, growing pain. It hasn't always been easy. There have been some obstacles along the way, but you know, you've You've made it through them. Now you're about to make it through another obstacle and then you're, you're almost there. You now remember we saw that King of Wands with that rod. I feel like that's that final rod that's going to get you there, you know, through your own just confidence and belief in yourself. I'm also feeling like, again, the situation could be just a lot of, of burdens, a lot of stress. You're just hanging on to a lot of stuff and then you're hanging on to that too. It's like all of these and all of these different things you have to do, mainly burdens and, and things that, are, that could be overwhelming you and, and stressing you out. You're feeling kind of trapped by all these things going on. So it's going to be different for, for different people. Final message I'm getting that I like here is that, yeah, these are like different opportunities, different options, different choices, you know, and here, here they are and like there you picked one and that's that big rod that the king of wands is going to like take all the way to the throne. There's you making a decision. So the essential situation could be you making a choice or making a decision and you know that's going to take you all the way to the throne. So I wonder what decision that is, what choice is that? Maybe you're not sure, maybe we're going to get you some advice about that. So here's an advice card coming up. Ooh, four of cups, that's interesting. She's not very satisfied with any of the options or choices. She didn't want that cup or that cup or that cup. She doesn't, and she doesn't want this cup being offered to her by the hand of God either. She's just not feeling excited about any, any of these options. So maybe she's feeling a little grumpy that she has to pick one and she's not loving any of them. So maybe either you gotta just scrap all these. Maybe all these options suck. Maybe it's got to scrap them all and look for a new rod. Or maybe you need to look again, because she's not even really looking. Maybe this cup being offered to you by the hand of God, maybe you're just not seeing it clearly, and that is that, that rod. Wait a minute, but here it is. Look this time. Don't just blow it off like the other options. It's like a gift from the heaven. Look at the options in front of you and either just scrap them all or find this golden cup from from the heavens from god this is the card also of needing to practice gratitude a gratitude vibration and that's going to help you see the opportunities in front of you see see the beauty in in all of them something that could happen that you are not expecting <laughs> the world <sighs> Hello Saturn, total success and attainment and achievement. It's also a card of, of wisdom, of, of the lessons you learn throughout along the way in this journey, this process we're talking about. You don't know what to do, you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling burdened, you're feeling stressed, you're feeling like there's too many choices, too many options, you don't know what to choose. But something you're not expecting that could happen is that you could, you know, be very successful. And also because of all the, the lessons that you learn and the wisdom that you gain in this, in this journey towards the world, which is going through all the major arcana of the tarot and all these different spiritual lessons, let's call them, that all of that wisdom really helps you in the art of discernment, the art of, of filtering. That's part of maybe what you need to do in this, in this process. Filter out is discern. So this process could be a lot about your discernment, not letting your emotions cloud your discernment, not letting your fear cloud your discernment either, not making decisions or choices from a place of fear. To go through this process, you're definitely gonna have to come out of the pond, you're definitely gonna have to leave your comfort zone, you're definitely gonna have to make your way along that partially illuminated path and yet you 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 can't see you don't know yet it's part of the process you're gonna learn you're gonna learn along the way and you're gonna be able you're gonna be able to discern and choose that big rod that's gonna take you all the way to the throne what 
is your desire in this this whole process the three of cups three of cups is the card of celebration so you want to celebrate this you want to celebrate this isn't it interesting those three cups there they are those three cups what's going on there this is you right there's you so you might have brown hair and I feel like that you want to learn the art of gratitude and joy and celebration and fun and you want to pick up those three cups and hand one to one girlfriend and hand the other to another girlfriend and just take your shoes off and dance around and pour some wine into them and celebrate life and be grateful for for all those cups for what they were for what they are whether that's something you choose for for your future for this this goal that you have or not celebrate them anyway so i feel like that's part of the message but mainly just celebration celebrating with your soul tribe with friends and family i think in this process you really want to you know let go of this this fear and be able to get out of your comfort zone and go out and have some fun get out of your comfort zone feel more free feel more light on your feet feel like dancing with life and not so overwhelmed emotionally not so fearful and finally the most likely outcome seven of pentacles this is a card of patience this is a card of planting the seeds and then watering them and waiting i feel like the most likely outcome is that you are going to be patient and you're going to wait to see what of these options bears fruit so maybe you're not going to rule out any of these options just yet you're just going to trust in the process and trust that you're going to be shown that you're going to be shown you know by by god by spirit that you're going to be shown by spirit which one because it's going to be the one that blooms it's going to be the one that bears fruit and you're going to see which option is most fruitful and i would say that that is really wise so yeah here's you something you're not expecting that you're probably going to do is use your wisdom use your filter to be able to see to be able to see to be able to discern you're going to be patient in this process i feel like the moon is also a message here about about cycles about moon cycles each moon cycle we have things to release we have things to purge each moon cycle maybe you'll be able to to let something go or clear something out or get some kind of response get some kind of answer and make some progress towards this this goal towards this whatever it is that you're going to be celebrating towards this like success celebration of success about making the right choice i feel like you're going to use your wisdom to make the right choice not from a place of fear you know that it's going to take time you're going to be patient through the cycles one of these options is going to be very very fruitful and a gift a gift from from spirit going to be a gift from spirit so that is really exciting if this reading resonated claim it in the comments let me know and if you like this video please like and subscribe for more content and i'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for being here i'm the ruhita yankee see you next time bye